how movies do huwa wanaonyesha how bath is like easy kidogo tu mtakashuka na leba ana ana pants kidogo kidogo ashaza <laughs> it's different it's different from the real bath hello guys welcome back to my channel uh, on today's topic i am going to discuss with you some of a few things that i wish somebody would have told me before having a baby now if it's your first time coming across this video and you like the kind of content that i'm sharing please subscribe please like my videos share them and press the notification bell so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever I post a video. Oh, and do not forget to um to comment down below at least so that I can know your opinions on each and every video of mine. So with me, I have some of a few points that I've jotted down on this book. And so if you see me looking down most of the time, just know that I'm referring to to these points that I wrote down. So as it is motherhood is a journey that is really good for good and different for each and every woman outside there and um, it comes with a lot of responsibilities and uh, disadvantages and also advantages uh, but all in all it's all worth it so whatever any person goes through uh, it's all worth it at the end of the day and no matter how hard it is just to stay strong at least for the baby and um everything will be fine just to so to start with i wish somebody would have told me that once i've given birth i will never be able to sleep again the way i'm sleep deprived i just come the last time i slept me like full eight hours just sleeping with with no disturbance i wish i wish somebody would have told me that hey ushaza chuko singizi rusha njia window forget about to singizi i wish somebody would have told me that nigeji prepare mentally because you uh, could me heat mwanzo mwanzo when uh, before my baby affiction the first few six weeks the first six weeks ilikuwa na nipeleka bio <laughs> nilikuwa na kesha usiku kesha ya asubuhi nafika hataki kulala na hata akilala analaka alala for like 30 minutes anaamka nana talala na 30 minutes hii baada ndio bitu before ifike 30 minutes eh usingizi mmeshika alafu ndio mpenda tena kukuamsha so it was hard it was really hard i never have never in fact since i gave birth i've never had full eight hour of sleep so yeah pili eh, babies are gassy ritia watoto kushuta i can they are gassy they are so 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 much gassy and the way wana shuta ama kunyamba i've never i never expected it because ideally me mimi najua unanyonya tu maziwa haukulani na hizi machakula zinafanya mtu akwe kwa gasi so i mean unatoa una, unatoa api nguvu ya kukoa gasi <laughs> alafu unashuta shuta kila sasa no one ever told me that watoi huko gasi wako gasi and wana nyamba regardless of whether una pay food ama pay uko tu kwa maziwa au una practice ibf ama how practice the lolos be gasi na watashuta shuta kila sasa alafu ya tatu you see how movies do huwa wanaonyesha how bath is like easy kidogo tu mtakashuka na leba ana ana pants kidogo kidogo ashaza <laughs> it's different it's different from the real bath real bath real bath hey mse unaweza enda hata for leba for like 72 hours wengine hata wanaenda okay kuna wanaenda for long hours kuna wanaenda for few hours but it's totally different from uh, to how movies in us zinaonyesha zao alafu na kuzaa kuzaa si kesi rahisi eh, if somebody ever told you that kuzaa ni rahisi and it's all about push and you're there pushing ooh ooh alafu kidogo shatoka 
that thing. You could not take a roho, you can take a mungu, you can take a kila kitu. It's not easy, baby. It's not easy kuzaa. Leba, but it's not easy kabisa mtu asikudanganya. So whatever you're seeing in movies is different. These people from movies wana tudanganya kabisa. Hey, but in plants don't always go as planned. Hiyo ni point number 5. But thing plans has it how I end up when you plan. Oh, my plan at you. Oh, a nita nita nita. I don't know if you can get it. You can get it. Water bath. Yeah, it's a water bath. Eh, at you. Oh, nita kuja nita panga goza wa totum toto. Nieke uko. Nige kwa ka nini katabu kango. Masi njo wanazali anga api uko. Nende ni push. Ama siji nita tembea. Tutambea siji. Tuta, tuta, iyo siku tuta, tuta tembea, nende nijipange, nipake make-up, nende osi, eh. Kina kujanga bila kubisha hodi. Unapatu maandikiwa ididio on day 26, alafu, <laughs> iyo inanoko on day 23, amata day 20. It's not that easy, so, but I think plants do not go as planned. Wata panga zako, venyo taji, taji set, venyo taji prep, and then inakuja tu on of a sudden end. Kila kitu nenda tu haywire. So you have to go na venye image later. Point number six. Your belly. Your belly will still be there post birth. Yeah. Tumbo hairudingi like that. Unless umefunga. Tumbo hairudingi immediately at hewe. It takes time before tumbo yako irudi. So mbado itabaki. Utaka ni kama ukona mimba ya one, two months. Hata one month, zi two, three months. Utaka ni kuhuko na mbea two, three months still. That is kama huja funga. But ukifunga inarudingi mbio. But usipofunga, aki your tummy will still be there. Haitarudi the way ilikuwa snatched while before you were pregnant and all that. So mtu wa sikudangani ati uo ni taza. Ati utaza alafu tumbako ita to back to normal itself. Mbebebo, no, there is nothing as such as that. Yeah. So you sweat a lot. Point number seven. Hehe. Unano kishaza. Hehe. Yani ungoja. Ukiwa na mimbo na sweat. Ukishaza tena. It's all another sweat. Ite niko tu hapo dani. The way you sweat. Yani sweat enyo neza atuwa. Kidoga tineza osha mtu. Una sweat. Kwa hivyo yete muna nyonya isha. Mtu tuwa na nyonya. Na sweat spears na toka toka kwa makuwa hapa. Tudogo tudogo kwa mwili. Most of the time unasikia ni kau kai uchi Actually, but then most of the time unasikia tu ni kama Usivai nguo because unasikia joto kila sa You sweat a lot baby, you sweat a lot until Maybe siku yenye utaacha kunyonyesha Nilisikia baby ati ukiacha kunyonyesha that is when maybe utaacha Utaacha kusweat, but as long as you still breastfeeding Utakona sweat profusely Sana, kwanza usiku Breastfeeding itself is not that easy for first time moms. Aki breastfeeding is not easy. The pain that comes with it, the first few days, the young daughter, unafunza mtoto kulach, na pia unajifunza kulachisha mtoto kwa matiti. Ni uchungu, no one will lie to me that breastfeeding is easy on the first few days after delivery ni uchungu ni uchungu mtoto have you remember mtoto have you kunyonya lazima mfunze kulacho na kumwekea matiti vizuri kwa mdomo ye mwenye kinyonya it's painful ni uchungu ingina po nye ata sijika mtu wameza ni uchungu ingina po ata mtu wezi describe ni uchungu adi kidogo na siyanga ni kama wache kunyonyesha but at the end of the day, you want to come to Tuako. At the end of the day, you want to create that bonding because apparently the bonding you'll get via breastfeeding. At the end of the day, you just want your baby to be there and uh, be, 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 be growing healthy. So, you end up with breastfeed. Mm -hmm. Baby might need to be breastfed 24-7, by the way. That's why nilikuwa na kuambia, nilikuwa na sema point ya kwanza, you experience sleep deprivation. Why? Because 
you have to breastfeed the baby kila saa like literally hakuna kupumzika akiamka anataka kunyonya nivo okay ideally hosi wanasema ati unaacha mtoto after every two hours unamuamsha unamnyonyesha unamuamsha unamnyonyesha but to me i didn't find it making sense so me nilikuwa na breastfeed like hata si nilikuwa bado na breastfeed na breastfeed like frequently as long as the baby wants the milk i will wake up i will stop whatever i'm doing and go breastfeed my baby so breastfeeding is a is, is a work on its own 24 hours down the clock unanyonyeshwa tu so ni kazi ni kazi alafu ingine the poop a lot akiwa watoto wana popo the first few days after after the myconium mi, mi after kuzaliwa after nini kupo the myconium now hizo siku zingine za kuendeleza anaweza funga for like a day kwa siku pupu and then ama one to two days kama japupu and then those other days atakuwa na pupu <laughs> na si kidogo mingi like a lot and a lot of poops so inatoka kama remember ni breast milk so inatoka kama maji ana almost kila sa so the way una change pampers e eh, una choka una change pampers una change una change una change na vile bida za diapers na pampers zimeongezeka zime una change una skin kama umechuka kabisa alafu The last point is babies always lose weight. They will always lose weight the first few days after delivery. So tuseme ni kama amezaliwa leo eh, and you weigh him or her kesho utapata like a meridius. Kama maybe alizaliwa na na 3.5 kg eh umoi kesho utapata kwa around 3.4 or 3.3 asha lose and it's it's normal it's actually normal so it's not something that you should be worried about but if your baby If you notice that your baby is losing weight uh, after every one month of wewe kuenda au usia ma ku visit the clinic please uh, consult your consult your doctors or takueleza on what is best for you and the baby in your to a stopicious story na ku lose weight yeah so basically that's it that's all that is all i have for you guys today thank you thank you so much for watching till the end I appreciate all those who have subscribed. I appreciate all those who have liked uh, my videos. I appreciate all those who who support me. Thank you so much. Uh, until next time. Bye.